all was quiet. I could hear voices. Maybe that was just in my head. The poster was half torn away and covered in graffiti. The eyes spookily followed me around the room, reminded me of the father of an old boyfriend. <coughs> uh, see the, uh, there was somebody coming. Quick hide. hide. The popcorn stand was my only option. I shall miss Paris, my dear. It has been charming, has it not? I shall never forget it. But the city is becoming unstable, and we have no need of this base. When will we leave? Soon. My plans are working out perfectly. Of course. It seems that we have a visitor. Is this the right place for the audition? You again! Aha! So this is the girl. Petra, my dear, you must introduce us. Nico Collard? Senor Suzaro. We have never met, and yet our lives have crossed. For the worst. In your case, that will certainly be true. Flap! So, Bruno and I came to Paris. It was the first time I'd been back since... Well, since the last time. I was on the trail of Cesaro, and the Dragon Power. We waited till it got dark. Then Bruno led me through the back streets to the place he suspected. Yeah. I waited while he checked the readings on his mysterious device. My calculations indicate that this is the place. Behind that wall? Are you sure? My machine tells me it is there and I have no reason to doubt it. Okay. Well, let's get inside and take a look. No! I am not going in there. I said I would bring you here and that is what I have done. I am not going in there. Bruno, you're just being paranoid. No! It is only paranoia when they are not out to get you. Okay, Bruno. You stay here. He sounds very like, um... Sorry, Georges. The, the voice sounds very like, um... Beyond a Steel Sky. The main guy in that. I wonder if it was the same one. They usually have the same voice actors in uh, Revolution. I can't remember who... <coughs> who was playing the main... who the main character was. Who was it again? Robert Foster. Yeah, right, okay. So it's you, Adam Henderson. Okay, Kaiser, you take care. Don't work too hard. I hope it goes okay. Nice to see you again this morning. I'm just gonna see if um, he did this broken sword game as well. Um, can't remember when this came out. Oh, he was in Highlander, was he? Beneath a steel sky. No, he didn't do the voice for this. Okay. So who's doing the voice for this? Broken sword. Um. 
a sleeping dragon. Don't have it. Maybe if I look at the second one, because it's the same voice, I'm pretty sure. Rolf Saxon. So, what did he do then? Maybe he's done 80 things. <laughs> now you get back. Broken Sword, Sleeping Dragon, he did this George Stewart voice for there. Okay, there. Okay, right, we got to, um, I'm gonna talk to him, see. Bruno, are you sure this is the place? Yes, here is the place the machine is indicating. Well, if the machine said it was so, I wasn't gonna argue. Let me just have a chat to him about various things. So, Bruno, what kind of place is this? Purpose of building is irrelevant. And what am I looking for? I have no idea. Okay, so I enter a place I've never been in, looking for something I've never seen. Yes, he's like one of your witty jokes, is it not? How reliable is that machine? I mean, how many of these Earth power sites have you found with it? You understand nothing. It's not about understanding. It's about believing. How's everything, Bruno? Oh, everything is tickety-boo. Apart from the fact I have a crazy man trying to kill me. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? I think I will be better out here. Thank you. Right, how do we get in? There was nothing behind the door, or my ear problem was back. It's locked. Locked. Maybe from the other side? Probably from the other side. Bruno had risked a lot to bring me here. I, can't I wasn't about way. to go sightseeing. Okay, never mind. Let's just work our way down the street. Either the door was stuck, or it was just locked. It was probably just locked, George. Magazines and large hardback books. That Irish guy, Eamon, he would have loved this place. Oh, it's a library, okay. Novels and short stories by the look of it. Kids books. Shame it wasn't open. I still had a couple of gaps in my tin tin collection and this could have been just the place. <laughs> Bruno had risked a lot to bring me here. I wasn't about to go sightseeing. Okay. Don't walk into the middle of the street. I'm not done. So we can't climb up in. Oh, what's the here? I couldn't hear anything. That door wasn't going to open. Okay, I presume I could probably go into here. too fond of 3D adventure games because um, the camera angles never it was a large recycle never the right way for you I wondered what sort of things the French recycled so I can and I can move that box so is there anywhere why did they slow down there I can't go up there can I There's nothing, I can't see. Can I, cl maybe I need the box to climb up on there. What's in there? I'm 
not sure where I'm meant to be going. there there's no way it's for, for going in front of the trash can because that's not that high if Nico can jump up that height so should George no I can't do anything there right Maybe it needs to be more in the middle. No. Let me move it back where it was. So I can't get out onto the street. Not not with the sleeping policeman at the entrance. We need that box somewhere. Let's go find out where we need the box. Maybe to look inside that window? Let's haul it over there. Right, where else can I need use it? See, I, I won't get it over this police sleeping policeman. So I must have to use it in here somewhere. Don't really get it. Quite sure where I was going there. Where was I going with it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to push that over there, am I? There. Right, so we need it in here. But where? <laughs> Don't know. I need a quick bio break. Um, I might go check on the cats at the same time and open my curtains up because it's almost daylight. So give me a couple of minutes. I shall be right back. Yep. And uh, we can see Baron now as well. Since um, I've got my curtains open. Yeah, he goes in this basket on the windowsill. Right, let's carry on with this. Uh, so we have we must move this crate somewhere. So where? There's nothing over at that side, so it has to be over at this side. It's just there's nothing there. Let's move it back. So, we've tried climbing up on there, that doesn't work. What is this big thing here anyway, this...
Oh, what's this now? The lid had been propped open. All right. I couldn't close the lid from the ground. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Right. There's, see, the, the other problem is you can't highlight everything you can interact with. I like it when you can do that. That helps a lot if you're completely stuck. Right, let's shove this in here, see if we can reach it that way. There we go. So what's behind there then? Come on, George. Well done. Oh, we've got a broken window. The window was latched inside. One of the panes was smashed, leaving a gaping hole. That means you can put your arm in there Suddenly, and open it. I was very scared of what lay ahead. Where are you going, Baron? <laughs> Aha! The window opened easily. I found myself in a book repository. Now to try and find all the hot spots. Okay, we've got a fire door, we've got a light switch. It was a light switch. Put it on then. Does Nothing that... happened. And you have to be facing ex exactly the right way to see things. I could see very little in the dark. I needed more light. I hoped to find something useful. But I was out of luck. Okay, let's try and open this door over here. There was nothing behind the door, or my ear problem was back. Mm, hopefully I can get back in there. Crates to move and jump on. Can we go up there? No, don't jump down. Can I not get up there? No. No. Can I push that one up there? Oh, there's a light switch behind, look. Hmm. Let's move this one back out the way. Why is there a mark on the floor? Well, he spotted the light switch there. It was a light switch. There was a box in the way of the switch. Oh, well done. Well done. We need two boxes over here. Right. Because we need to be able to walk backwards, don't we? Maybe. Without falling off. Yeah, you can do it, George. That's it. My neighbor <laughs> going past. Oh. <gasps> 
I can't move that one. Can I... Let me move that one in. No, I can't move that one in. Can I move it backward but still get out of here? <laughs> no. Okay, let's take this box. I can't do anything with these boxes. Oh, Baron's back up. Oh, I haven't done this, so I... I need to do that twice now. Oh, what about this other box over here? Can I take it around? Oh, I might be able to do it. Ah, right. Now. I bet I can't go around the back of there, but I can. No, I can do it this way. Yay, right. We're getting there. No, wrong, wrong. That way. There, right. Now let's see if we can pull this box over. Yay. All that just to switch a light switch on. <laughs> the room was just a storeroom. Yeah. Surely there was something in here. Secret compartment. Maybe that switched the other light on though, next door as well. Who knows? The secret. Why does that glass of pain look different? Is it worth me going climbing up here again? No. It's not triggering anything over there. Maybe it switched the other light on there. Let's go check that out. Nothing happened. Mm. So what was the point of that? I think maybe we need to... Oh, that didn't flash up last time. Just some filing cabinet drawers. The labels on the drawers were old and unreadable. The drawers weren't going to budge. I'm just going to move this crate over to the window. No, okay, it doesn't do anything. I thought it might have done. But no. We can't look at any of these boxes or books. Can't go in there. See what what was all that all that moving about for? Hmm. 
just some filing cabinet drawers. The labels on the drawers were old and unreadable. The filing cabinet was locked and I didn't have the key. This was a strange section. Secret doors and tunnels, construction and maintenance. There was a little plaque on the top of the shelf. These books kindly donated by the governor of Alcatraz. <laughs> Can't push it. Oh, it's all dark over here. Books on relationships. Looking for love in the strangest places. I made a mental note to stay away from bookshops for the rest of my life. A small metal filing cabinet. The labels on the drawers indicated that they were for storing the bills and paperwork. Oh, we're locked as well. The drawers wouldn't open. They were securely locked. That bookshelf looks as though it's further away from the wall. It was definitely sparkly, yeah. Books on conspiracy theory. On the shelf below, the label read, Conspiracy Practice. <laughs> Books on cryptozoology, care and feeding. Imagine keeping a Yeti as a pet. Think of the hairballs. Yuck. Any books in here? Yeah. Books on cryptozoology, care and feeding. Who just read that one? Books on cryptozoology, care and feeding. Nope, not that way. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't get this bit either. There must be something in here. But I can't see it. Yeah, I can't do that either now, can I? So what are we going to do with these crates? I mean, if I pull that back, I can't get out. Unless I jump over. No! Jump over. I can't use these to get up on top of the bookshelf, can I? It's all very confusing. I want to know what the dip was on the floor there.
I should be able to get this one out of here now as well, shouldn't I? Just had a thought. Um, uh, we need two stack high block over somewhere, but where I don't know. Would it be that window? Surely he could have climbed out the window on the. Oh no, what's this? That wasn't shining before. Deep scratches had scarred the floor. There's a secret way there. Hmm. We can see that because the light's on now, isn't it? Right, let's climb up here and let's take this box back. Let's move this one out of the way. trap door was set flush into the floor. Even with nothing in the way, the trap door was difficult to see. There was a gap between two of the floorboards just big enough for my fingers. Pulling it open must have caused the scratches. Getting somewhere. A ladder led down into a well-lit passage. It looked like Bruno could be right. No, no. Two used to do in Wazad for movement, and but it's the arrow keys in here. The Wazad does the actual commands. Right. I'm gonna save. Considering the quality of the shadows for the people, you would have thought the static views shadows would have been a lot sharper. It was some kind of ancient boiler. It was like something from a horror movie. I half expected to hear screams coming from inside. Let's just check what's up the ladder. Hmm. Let's see what's through this door first. Silence. That was either a sign, or there was just no one behind the door. Locked. Locked. Maybe from the other side? Yeah, more than likely. <laughs> hey, they got a show. It was some kind of a rehearsal. As a one-time director of the Idaho Players, the I was Nico. no stranger to the thespian arts. Where is it? We must have the location. I tell you, I don't know. <sighs> ah! Let me do this properly. I know I can break her. As you wish, Petra. I'm not scared of you, you bunch of thugs. Bravo. <laughs> They're so thick. Ooh! Senior Cicero, sir. Sorry to bother you. Yes, what is it now? We got a little problem downstairs. 
To be precise, Flap, what kind of a problem? An intruder problem. A guy's getting killed problem. Ah, just as I was getting comfortable. Suzaro! This was no rehearsal. And the girl giving the Oscar performance was my old friend Nico. This is very tiresome. You will stay here, Miss Collard. Don't try anything. Some hope. What do you think I'm going to do? Ask the audience for help? Flap, you watch her like a hawk. Like a hawk, Senor Cicero. The name is Suzaro. Senor Suzaro. Do try and make an effort, Flap, or I shall have to kill you too. Okay, how are we going to rescue her? Can we go into that room there? That looks like a control room. Ah. The panel controlled the sound. Nico really needed my help. The sound equipment controls were completely wrecked. How was I going to help Nico? The panel was wrecked beyond repair. I needed to find a way to help Nico. Yeah. This panel was broken too, wrecked on purpose. I needed to find a way to help Nico. So you keep saying. Can we go right this way? This is the popcorn place. No, not that way. Use that as a destruction movie. Yeah? Wow, it was a classic cash register. I remember these from when I was a kid buying candy. This wasn't the way to help Nico. Maybe there was some cash still inside. Well, the drawer was jammed, so I guess not. Dust and Weevils, my favorite theater snack. I was wasting time when I should have been helping Nico. It was some kind of old drinks maker. The kind where you had to mix the syrup and the soda yourself. Just two flavors, lemonade and cola. Nico could die while I was wasting this time. Uh, can I use the paper cup or not? No way was I doing that. Why not? Locked. It was locked and wouldn't open. Right. There's nothing in here. Let's go back to the theater. No, no. This way. Oh, camera angles, and then it changes your controls. run down here the direct approach was out of the question so as soon as I stepped from the shadows I'd be spotted I had to find another way onto the stage yeah, so now there's a lodger at the other side huh. what's that who's up there I realized the thug had spot me if I hung around let's go up and round since he obviously doesn't spot us up here. I wonder if we can set the... set the boiler going or something. Uh, come on. Let's sit down to this door. Because there's a ladder here. And we can maybe drop something on his head. There's definitely a ladder there. Whoa! The gangways were dangerous. They'd fallen away in places. 
It was a long way down. That's okay. Right. If we um I need to get around to the other side, don't I? The rope held up the lighting rig. The lighting rig lowered part of the way, but then jammed fast. Can I climb over that? Yeah. No, look up. It's not letting me move side to side. What? Oh. <laughs> so I was pressing left and right, which you would think would be the obvious keys. No, it's up. We press the up arrow. Can I drop here? Can I pull this wire as well? No? Okay. Right, what we got here? Right, there he goes. Can I save? Hanging from the rigging was a sandbag, which acted as a counterweight. I knew this would get his attention. Gotcha now. <laughs> well, well, well. Nicole Collard. Tied to a chair, needing to be rescued. Again. George! Don't just stand there. Untie me. You know, this is becoming a habit. Maybe you should seek help. Okay, okay. Come on. Hurry. Jeez, these knots are tight. Aha, got it. Seriously, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. And it is good to see you. Your timing's perfect. It always was. So, how's Idaho, George? Same as ever. It's a great vacation state. You ought to visit sometime. Got any friends who'd put me up? I could put a word in for you. You're a real sport. Why the sudden interest in theater? I'm on the trail of a guy who killed one of my clients. A man called Suzaro. That's the maniac who captured me. I know. I was watching from the stalls. Thought you were pretty good, by the way. Thanks. I wasn't looking forward to the next scene, though. Yeah. Those guys, they got their own special twist on the word corpse. So tell me about Cesaro. Cesaro connects back to the Neo-Templars. Surprise, surprise. That explains idiot guy over there. So why are you here? The blonde. She killed the guy I was due to interview. Tracking her down brought me here. We're working on the same case. Now that's amazing. Only if you believe in coincidence. Do you? No. Me neither. Come on, George. We can't sit around here all day. Right, where are we head going now then? Can I talk Nico? to her about anything? Yes, George? I wonder if you could help me out. It depends on what you want. So why did the blonde kill the guy you were interviewing? He was trying to contact me. Said he had information about all this weird meteorological stuff going on. Said the world was going to end. So, Nico, you still a reporter? Not according to my editor. Well, what happened? You get fired? No, I quit first. Um, don't need that. Let me search him for anything. Flat believed in traveling light, just his IQ and his gun. <laughs> Me, I just put faith in the old IQ. That looked like a trap door, yeah. Like. Ah! 
Damn, that's hot. What an incredibly dumbass thing to do. <laughs> Let me use the pots. Now that wasn't quite right. Why not? That would have worked perfect. I guess we're not not using that then. Right, let's get back off the stage here. Not quite sure which way to go. I'm just going to check the other side of the stage first. See if there's anything here. Oh, we can go down. Ah. Right. So we can put something onto there and lift it up. I wondered what the button was for. We know what it's for. Look, it lifts the lift. It lowers the top. Okay, so we're going to need that for something, aren't we? I'd found a box of theatrical grease paints. The sight transported me back to another day in Paris. A peaceful cafe and a clown. And boy, did I hate clowns. I stuck my hand into the box and grabbed a stick. Why not just a cool number box? Seven, white. What a lucky guess. A dark but very colorful alley scene. Scenic artist. Now that was a nice career. Why hadn't I thought of that? So we've got a box, but we can't move that one. A beautifully painted cloth backdrop. It was a perfect market scene. Fruit stalls and bric-brac stalls. Hmm. Let's just keep going. Board it up. It's a bit of a maze, this, isn't it? No sounds came from behind the door. Oh, we're going even further down, are we? Ah! Stay away from me! I mean it! What the hell's up with this guy? Don't come in here! Stay away! Ah! Somebody has put the fear of God into him. Somebody, or something. And you know what? He's safe in there. And the thing is out here. Can I open this door? I could hear muttering through the door. Someone was in there, pacing the room and talking to himself. I wondered if I should investigate. Then again, maybe not. The crazed guard had barricaded himself behind the door. Hmm. Why is this wall sticking out? We will never know. Right, um... It was just a door. Nothing interesting about it. Nope, not that way. That's the stairs we came down.
doing that was Nico that's flushing. What's this? The support strut was wedged between the floor and the ceiling. It was holding up the floor of the room above. It was the fuse box for the theater. It looked very old and very dangerous. It looked like a couple of the fuses had blown. There was only one fuse remaining. So if I find some fuses, can I do this? It looked as if it was holding up the ceiling. It had to be there for a reason. Then why can't we just do it? A very old ladder, judging by the woodworm, a very dangerous one too. Trying to use that thing would be suicidal. Grease paint. 